Okay. Uh, all right. It's time for the breakdown. Something like that. You know. Basically, I made a synth wave track, and we're going to be going through each component. I'll start with the melodics and chord elements, and then we'll go into the drums, and then the effects. And that's basically all there is to it. So let's hop into headphone mode and jump over to the screen. All right, so let's start with the chords. This is kind of the main element here. Alright, so that serum patch was just some saw waves with a little bit of filter movement on the cutoff here. It's cutting off the high end. And yeah, very, very simple here. We got a little bit of distortion, chorus, reverb, and EQ. I'm actually not even using the chorus. It's off. Nice. Not using the hyper either. That is off as well. Alright. So that's that. On to the next one. So for the next part, I have an arpeggiator. Uh, we'll go over that, which is just another serum patch as well. So here we go. Right here, it's looking very similar, um, but it's just one saw. Same thing, but this time it's more of a pluck on the envelope here. So the sustain is all the way down and the decay is kind of short, giving us that pluck. Plus we have delay on this and reverb, just to make it nice. Here's what the arpeggiator sounds like. Nice, all right. Next on to the bass, uh, there's, a, there's a pattern here. Basically, it's another serum patch made out of saws. <laughs> um, not as much detune here and a similar filter as the main chord sound, but we also have a sub. We're playing an octave lower and the filter movement is different. So here's a note on it. It is actually quite similar to the chords, but lower. So here's one of the chord patterns here. It's not a chord pattern. It's it's just a pattern. Um, and then we have got a little variation over here to match the chord variation because we switched up the chords about halfway through the song. And also, we do have another variation of the bass where it's more just pumping the whole time instead of that offbeat kind of thing. Yeah, all right. So now we're gonna move on to the melodic side of things exactly. <laughs> We're already on the melodic side, uh, but this is the three times oscillator patch that I use all the time It's very simple. We'll jump back over into the screen here For this one, uh, it's we're just using a triangle on all three oscillators same course pitch for all of them and The only thing we're changing is the modulation of the filter here mod X bringing that down here so it gives it more of a pluck sound. And then if you just put reverb on it, I think maybe I have reverb and EQ on it. Giving us that nice uh, sound like that. Okay, yeah, let's, let's hear it. I didn't even play it yet. So that's the main riff and then we have a variation over here.
Nice. Um, and then our second to last melodic element is the guitar, which is actually following the same melody for the most part as the little bell. Yeah, and then the same variation over here as well. Um, so for the guitar, we're actually using Session Guitarist Election, <laughs> Election Sunburst, Electric Sunburst Deluxe. This is a very nice guitar plugin. I've used it a lot. It's great for being able to play melodies and such. Uh, Instead of just strumming patterns, that's what I used to have, just the regular session guitars. But this one lets you do individual notes, which is really nice. And we're using the Wanderlust preset here. And the last melodic element is going to be the saxophone. It's very quiet and not in here a lot. Um, but here, here's what it sounds like by itself. Yeah, so that's only in that one part of the song, but it made the cut. <laughs> all right, so now that we've done the melodics, we can move on to the drums. So I was using all drum sounds that I've made from my Nebby Essentials pack, which I believe I'm going to drop that for free. We'll, we'll include a link in the description here. But all right, so let's get back to the screen over here. Here's what the drums sound like by themselves. Nice and basic. Uh, I believe we have one more variation with a little bit of uh, open hi-hat kind of sound as well. Nice. And this is the processing I have on the drum bus. All the drum sounds are linked to this. We have this EQ cutting off some of the highs and lows. Give it kind of more of a retro feel. And the vintage mix preset on the compressor. I don't know. I just thought it sounded good. <laughs> and so that is mostly it. We do have another section of Tom, Tom fills, and I do use it for an updated groove over here. I'll play what that sounds like. And this is getting the similar processing. The acoustic drums are not linked to the drum bus but they've got a similar EQ, taking out a little bit around 500, same with the highs and lows, same vintage mix compressor. Um, yeah, and so for those acoustic drums, I'm actually using Studio Drummer. I'll open that up. This is another nice, really, really good uh, library for contact. I enjoy that a lot. Getting that acoustic drum sound, give it kind of a live feel. But yeah, and the very last component is going to be the effects. Uh, very simple ones I have here. Let's turn these off. I just took a snare, snare three over here to be specific. Sounds like that. Some It's not the best snare, but it sounds nice with a bunch of reverb on it. And then I took that sound, recorded it in Edison, and reversed it, which gives us this. For that reverb here, we're using snare three, and we're just using the biggest, probably one of the biggest presets um, in Fruity Convolver, that's what I'm trying to say. Event Cathedral, this one just sounds massive. Took the dry all the way off, and we have the wet just staying the same. Oh yeah, I do have one more noise element as well, spooky noise. This is a skateboard wheel that's been blurred out in Edison, but I just have it as a sample. But yeah, so just to give it a little bit of extra stuff. And then when we put that all together, we'll go ahead and listen to the track together right now.
But yeah, so that was the track. Just some retro wave. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos like this. Maybe some tutorials, some tips for FL Studio. I don't really know, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Peace out.